Hi friends, today we are going to see a tutorial of uh, static structure analysis of pipe range in console multiphysics. For that purpose, we have to open that console model wizard. After clicking on that, here the various that uh, models will open 3D, 2D. So uh, here uh, I have made the uh, spanner into a 3D. So I will import into a 3D. Then after clicking on 3D, we have to go next part. Here we are using a static structure analysis. For that purpose, we have to enter into a structure mechanics. In structure mechanics, there is various models are there solid mechanics shells layer shell here i will use a solid mechanics after clicking we have to add this here you will get various uh, information about that solid mechanics where you can use into a 3d 2d axis symmetric body or into a 1d whatever the solutions available or models available that we can get into that solid mechanics uh, after that here yeah, clicking that we have to go study then here the general studies are here the various studies can see that digen frequency stationary time dependent so here i am using i am studying the uh, static structure analysis due to that reason i am adding the stationary and then done It will take some time to enter into that uh, static structural stationary model and then I have to enter it will take some time then here the uh, um, ribbon will be get open and here the uh, logical steps we can see here the first we have to import the geometry and uh, for that purpose i will go to geometry and right click by clicking right um we'll click on import then here the uh, import uh, tab will be get open and uh, browse then we have to browse the model which is built into a console multiphysics that we have to import the range this is name given is range and after that we have to build all object after that we can see the uh, model which is the built into a console with the bolt it will see next to that uh, we can add the material for that purpose we have to click them to materials After clicking on the material, you can see we have to uh, click a right click and then add the material in built in. So, here uh, I am using the structural steel. So, as per your um, material of the spanner uh, or range, you can add the material. Here, I will use the both material. Um, both part material is the structural steel. Then, we can add component. In here, we can see the two components which is the end to that solid model this is the part one and part two will be get displayed okay so here the part one and part two uh, automatically the material has been assigned and then we can go next to into solid mechanics in solid mechanics if we will see the one one end is the fix and another end is the free or on which uh, one end is the fix and another end on which we are applying effort with the help of hand so here a uh, normal human being can apply uh, force by hand up to a uh, 250 ton and so due to that reason i will fix uh, one side so here uh, i will fix that uh, nut uh, bolt bolt face that face is number 35 and after fixing that uh, we have to apply force also that effort 
we have to apply effort for that purpose we have to go to boundary and then click on the one surface from here we are applying a force and i have applied force then here into that tab boundary load tab we can see the various options are here force for any area that will give you stress total force that will give you force pressure pressure also we can apply but here we are applying the effort so that effort direction is in downward direction that is in z parallel to z so here i will apply that force here uh, first i will apply 100 then we can try to another load also so here 100 newton but that uh, due to 100 that force will be go uh, into upward direction so here minus 100 after applying that minus symbol that force will go into downward direction so here you will see the when we apply force on that this spanner will be get bent so here the bending stresses will be get developed so we have to calculate that bending stresses and to develop develop into that spanner and uh, if we'll see the one end is the fix and another end is the uh, which is uh, that spanner will be act as a cantilever beam so if we'll see um, here the bending stresses will get developed we will see the uh, top portion will be subjected to a tensile and the bottom portion will be a compressive stress compressive bending stress so we have to see the where on which fiber that um, maximum stresses are going to develop so after that uh, after applying force we can go into meshing and by clicking by right clicking we can see uh, we can apply the pre tetrahedron okay then we can click on build all here now the meshing of that part that uh, two bodies will occur but here the we can see the warnings uh, here the in warning they have mentioned that age is the much shorter than the specified minimum element size second here is the phase is the much smaller <coughs> at um, smaller than the specified minimum element size means that the, here is this very small element uh, and cur curvature surfaces are there so we have to minimize the meshing size also so we have to go, click on the size and the custom after that minimum element size i will reduce that i will uh, reduce and then we will build I think that meshing error will be get eliminated. Okay, then then that meshing error is eliminated. Now I I can I am ready to complete that simulation. Here theoretically also we can calculate the bending stresses um, by the flexor formula of bending sigma b is equal to m into y divided by i by this formula also we can calculate bending stresses we can calculate the bending stresses on top fiber as well as the bottom or on both fiber we can calculate because one fiber this fiber will be subjected to tensile and this fiber will be subjected to compressive bending stress because it is act uh, like cantilever it will take some time for solving that so um, here uh, in that solid mechanics we will get one mass stress one mass stress but uh, if you will see the we require the principal stresses for calculating that principal bending stresses so see now the solution is completed here and lastly done okay okay then you will see in xy plane here the uh, the one my stresses are getting you know that maximum is 2 into 10 raised to h newton per mm square that is the maximum stress show the maximum okay 2.49 into 10 raised to h this is the one my stress so uh, i will calculate the maximum 
maximum bending stresses one mesh stresses are different and as principal stresses are different so we can calculate for that purpose we have to go uh, into result and after that we have to add the 3d plot group in 3d plot group we have to go into counter contour then okay here we have to go into expression and we have to go to solid mechanics then in solid mechanics we have to see stresses and we are considering the principal stresses so here we will go principal stress and first principal stress i will calculate after double clicking the stresses will be get changed and you can plot before that uh, here the various counter types are there line type field and tube so i will use the field and float then after plotting you can see the first principal stress that is 2.18 into 10 rest to that okay then we can see the where the maximum stresses by visualization also we can see the maximum where the and the stop portion is subjected to a maximum tensile stress and the bottom is the pop portion but uh, the uh, model should have to show here the one of the option is here the more plot and after cl clicking the max and min volume okay so again here we have to go into the expression solid mechanics and then then stress then then stress after stress we have to go into principal stresses and first principal stress okay then we have to plot here the first principal stress and one more stress more stresses we can see here the maximum stresses are 2.43 on that portion and the minimum is at here and bottom so we can see that the one um, fiber is subjected to a tensile then deformation also we can see so for that purpose we have to click here and after right clicking we can see the deformation okay then here also maximum and minimum deformation also we can see 